So hey everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem largest number possible which is an easy problem so let's read the problem statement out so we are given two numbers n and s find the largest number that can be formed with n digits and whose sum of digits should be equal to s return minus 1 if it is not possible for example if n is 2 and s is 9 so my output should be such that its sum should be equal to 9 and it should be the largest and it should be of n digits right so here 90 is going to be my output similarly if you take s equal to 20 and n is 3 i can pick the first number as 9 the second number will also be 9 now when you encounter the third number it should be equal to 20 minus 18 which is 2 so this is going to be my output the expected time complexity for this is going to be order of n where n is the number of digits and space complexity is going to be order of one so i hope you have understood the problem statement so let's understand the problem in more detail so let's say my n is 2 and s is going to be 9 one thing you can observe in order to make a number as large as possible we should definitely start with 9 why because if you start with 8 that number is going to be smaller than that number which is going to be started with 9 so we need to start that number with a 9 so let's say i start with 9 now my current sum is going to be 9 and my required sum will be nothing but 9 minus 9 which is 0 next time you come to this place what happens now you required only 0 so you can put a 0 here right similarly if let's say my n is 3 and s is going to be 20 which was our second test case so we have started here with 9 now my required sum is going to be nothing but 11 again my required sum is greater than 9 right so i can pick a 9 again now our required sum is going to be 2 we can check our required sum is going to be smaller than 9 so we can pick that directly and let's say we would have taken n is equal to 4 so now we have achieved the numbers whose sum is going to be 20 so we can have put up 0 inside that so i hope you have understood the problem let's say uh, let's take the last test case and s is going to be 21 so initially we can pick a 9 again we can pick a 9 here we can pick a 3 now we will have exhausted our s so our required sum is going to be 0 right so we can pick zeros to fulfill this now one interesting corner case can appear let's say my n is going to be 1 and s is going to be 0 correct so since my required sum is going to be 0 only we can pick that 0 but what if n is going to be 4 okay and s is going to be 0 you can think like we can return this okay but in the problem it is written if we are not able to do so we need to return minus 1 so for any cases where s is going to be 0 and n is greater than 1 we will be returning a minus 1 so i hope you have understood the problem maximum we will be taking a for loop in order to fill up our answer okay so initially what we can do we can start our answer as a empty okay we can run a for loop for i equal to 0 since we need to pick n digits i plus plus if we can check my s or let's say sum is greater than 9 okay which is basically the required sum i can for sure pick a 9 correct and my sum is going to be reduced by what 9 correct because we have picked the 9 otherwise what we can do we can pick that s into our answer and we need to convert it to a string 
so we can use a two string function which will basically convert that into a string and we can reduce this by this value right in the end we can check after the iterations if the value of s is going to be zero or not agar zero ban gaya hoga matlab humne apna numbers bana liya theek hai agar zero nahi bana hoga we can return a minus 1 in that case okay and माइनस वन का और भी केसेस हो सकता है फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से तुम्हें थर्टी सिक्स दे दिया राइट एंड एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओनली सो लेट्स से इफ तुमने नाइन 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 पिक कर लिया ठीक है मैक्सिमम सम तुमने क्या बनाया ट्वेंटी सेवन बट हमें चाहिए कितना था थर्टी सिक्स इन डैट केस ऑल्सो वी विल बी रिटर्निंग माइनस ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द प्रॉब्लम लेट्स डिस्कस द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो इनिशियली माई आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी एम टी इफ एस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो एंड एन इज ग्रेटर देन वन we can return a minus 1 for sure otherwise we can run a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus in order to fill those n digits if s is greater than 9 means we can pick a 9 and we will reduce our sum by 9 because we have picked the 9 right otherwise we can pick s jo bhi wahan pe s possible raha hoga let's say 2 hai to 2 le lenge and s ko hum log reduce kar denge by that number okay and in the end if my s is not equal to 0 means humme jitna sum chahiye tha and in the end if s is not equal to 0 means humme jitna sum chahiye tha hum nahi bana paye so we can return a minus 1 otherwise we can return our answer okay so i hope you have understood the problem i have been making regular videos on gfg problem of the day you can watch it out on my channel okay and if you have understood this problem do like this video comment your doubts if you have any share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys